hello friends welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start the video so this is week 5 assignment of the joy of computing using python course friends i hope every solution is correct uh, if you want to suggest me any changes you can ask me in the comment section so before the submission movement you can just once again check the comment section to uh, update if there are any changes otherwise we can submit it directly so friends please watch the video till the end because if i make any modifications to the solution in between the video or if i make any explanation you can be able to note that so do watch the video till the end so moving on to the first question binary search can be applied on so for the first question the answer is option a sorted list so we cannot apply a uh, binary search on unsorted list we should only use uh, we can only apply this binary search algorithm on only sorted list and moving on to the second question which of the following is a wave rock wave form audio file format so the correct answer for second question is first option wav so mark first option as correct answer guys uh, for second question if there are any second uh, i mean if there are any multiple answers i will update in the comment section so until now uh, the correct answer is first option and moving on to the third one which of the following libraries can help us to convert audio into lyrics so they gave four options speech recognition text to speech speech to text text translate so here these solutions are wrong the correct answer is first option so mark first option as correct answer that is speech recognition and moving on to the fourth question state true or false actually uh, they have to give the true or false but uh, question they gave like that but in options again they gave some different statements so the uh, what they have given means in the monte hall problem swapping the cho choice does not increase the chance of winning actually this is false statement statement is false statement but here they did not give any uh, true or false but they they have given different statements regarding this so for this the correct answer is second option swapping will increase the chance of winning so mark second option as correct answer and moving on to the fifth one what is the correct way to initialize a dictionary guys generally we know that uh, dictionary what the initialization syntax is dictionary name is equals uh, the curly braces it is a key guys key is unique values can be duplicate but key should be unique key colon value so this is the syntax so the only option that satisfies this syntax is fourth option so mark option 4 for fifth question and moving on to the sixth one what is the correct syntax to get all the keys only from a dictionary d so for sixth question the correct answer is fourth option that is d dot keys here 
D is name of the dictionary and keys is the method. It is not key friends. It is keys. Here, here there should be yes. Keys. Dot keys method. So there should be definitely yes because if, if we not put this yes then it will become first option. So the correct answer is not first option. The correct option is fourth option because keys method not key it is keys moving on to the seventh one which of the following is valid so friends here they give four options that uh, resembles the syntax format i mean uh, the valid syntaxes for initializing a dictionary so we have already said that uh, key value pairs will be exist so here within within a key there is another key value pair I mean here the value column itself is a dictionary again so which of the following is a valid one so for seventh question there are two correct answers the first one is option one that is the first option and the second option is third one so mark first and third options as correct answer for seventh question a and c options and moving on to eight Eighth question for bubble chart, which of the following statements is true? So, for eighth question, the correct answer is second option in each iteration, consecutive pairs of elements are compared with each other. Here, consecutive means adjacent side by side elements. So, mark second option as correct answer for eighth question. And moving on to the ninth one. Which error is faced while accessing an element that is not there in a dictionary? So when I did this, I got the error as first option that is key error. So mark first option as correct answer for ninth question. And moving on to the final question of the assignment of this assessment that is tenth question. In dictionaries, D dot items will return. Here D means the name of the dictionary. So when and items means uh, the uh, the content that is contained in the dictionary. So when we use this method, we will get key value pairs together. So the answer is first option. So friends, these are the solutions for week five joy of computing using Python course. I will also make the uh, programming assignment solutions uh, once again go through that so these are the solutions for this assessment so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same you can please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends if you can give me suggestions please uh, those are invited and if you want to suggest me any changes for the answer or you want to update these answers you can ask me in the comment section so we'll try to give the best solutions to our users so for further more videos like this, please keep supporting our channel. Until then, goodbye. Thank you.